So Tammy, this is one of the first parties of the fall decent DC social season. Tell us a little bit about this party and what it means to you. Well, it's an interesting party because it's a media person, Nick Kristoff. And it was standing room only because he covers the entire world. He has his new book, Half the Sky, which is about women and how they're brutalized in countries around the world. I gotta tell you, it's not a happy story. Austin Goolsby and his wife Robin, always a good time. Alan Kruger, chief economist for the U.S. over at the Treasury Department. Milan Revere, who is the a president's ambassador for women. Who have started a movement, and they're really changing the world. I'm not sure it's entirely my role to start talking about development. Otherwise, I'd have to open myself up to invite all of you to comment on your best ideas about how to improve journalism. Um, and uh, how to improve newspaper delivery in the morning, maybe, too, as well. Uh, now, increasingly, I think, the role of women is also seen not only as a good thing to do, but as a security issue, as well as an economic issue. And all these things are coming together, and I think making it the time uh, to address this, truly as the cause of our time. And I tend to think that the humanitarian world has not absorbed the lessons about how you really build build empathy, build an emotional connection. And it's all about stories. Um, we all know kind of intellectually that as a class of people grows, then it's harder to build sympathy for you know, a, a broad problem as a statistic and an individual story is tragedy. It turns out there's pretty good research to suggest that our empathy fades the moment that that class rises to two. The moment you have two victims, our empathy fades. And so it's really important to find that individual story that will move people. And I spend an awful lot of the time out there you know, going from village to village, poking around, trying to find the story that is really going to be emblematic of that larger picture. Is there any place you've tried to go and couldn't get in? Or not welcome back? Uh, Turkmenistan is uh, not uh, giving me visas. If the Turkmenistan ambassador is here, <laughs> well, potentially, you know, when I first got the column in 2001, I thought, oh, I'll be changing minds every morning. Doesn't work that way. If I write about an issue that people have already thought about, then people who start out agreeing with me think it's brilliant, and <laughs> people who start out disagreeing with me think I've utterly missed the point. So where I really can have an impact is if I write about an issue that is off the agenda, and by illuminating it, maybe can help put it on the agenda to some degree, help, help that process a little bit. So I look for issues like that, that people haven't really thought much about, but if, they're, if they do face it, if I can make them spill their coffee in the morning, then maybe we'll have some impact. There's a lot of DC journalists at this party. Uh, you're not from DC, but you, you observe it very well. What can DC journalists do to improve their coverage of the kind of issues that you focus on? Well, it's all about putting these issues on the agenda and seeing security issues, fighting poverty, in partly by educating and empowering women. And I think that is something. DC people, DC journalists are great at helping set the agenda. And so I think that would be a great thing to, to do. And, 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 and as far as Barack Obama, I mean, what can he do to sort of steer attention to these issues? I think that on trips, for example, he can go and uh, when he's visiting India, he can go visit an NGO that is working on trafficking, for example. Um, in Ghana, he did raise the issue of maternal mortality, which was terrific. But I think he can use that bully pulpit even more. And um, I mean, President Bush was great in raising a focus on AIDS. I, there are, it'd be wonderful if President Obama were really to put women's issues square, you know, central in, in his foreign policy agenda. And you know, for us, the White House is the center of the universe. All power emanates from that. If there's a party and White House people are going to be there, people are going to be out. 